Cynthia. Yes, mommy? Your father is here. Huh? He is where? He's here, right at our house. You opened the door for him. Why? Adi, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. What are you doing here? I heard you've not been coming to work for some few days now. So I decided to come check up on you. You heard what? Who told you that? By the noise, how may I help you, sir? By pointing us in a day's direction. Well, that will be tough. It's not been to work in days. Days? How many days? Like three to four days now. Did you notice any changes in his behavior before then? Not at all. But there's someone that should know. Um, Oh, Jake! Come, please. Um, did you notice any changes in Ade's behavior before he stopped coming to work? Young man, Ade is in a lot of trouble right now. And if you don't talk, we are going to count you as one of the culprits. Would you like to come with my men to the station? Well, we started behaving very recently. Right. Then on two different occasions, I saw him staring at this picture. At this picture of this little girl. This girl? This is like girl's He says it's his daughter. But her mom won't allow him to see her. When he stopped coming to work, I, I tried calling him. But he didn't pick. And I went to his place. He didn't even allow me in. Oh, great. So you know where he lives. Hey, speak up, man. Yeah, I, 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 yes. A lot of us here know his house. Calm down, young man. I just made a target. That's all. Take a snack here, come on. We're not here for you. You don't believe me. Thank you. Well, I'll advise that you don't alert him. Because if you do that, you will drag him to the car. And I can assure you, you will not. You see? You see what you've cost. Ade, come out slowly and bring Zara to us. I'm never going to allow you to take my precious jewel away from me. I 
Daddy, I'm not playing, boy. Come out now. So, Cynthia thinks she can take my child away from me. No way. I'm going to kill you all, kill Zara, and kill myself rather than let you take my child away from me. Hold on, baby. I just want to take care of these people that are trying to separate us. I love you. from you and you are dead meat. Now they still want statement. Not today. I have a daughter to take care of. So please, leave and come back later. I'm sorry, ma. It doesn't work like that. We have to take your statement and your daughter. It's protocol. Screw your protocol. There's absolutely no way I'm letting my daughter relieve that experience she had with that horrible monster. Of course. It's protocol, like I earlier said. You both have to come with us to the police station. That will never happen. Never. You better leave now and save yourself time. There's absolutely no way I'm coming with my daughter to your station. Um, Paul. Yes. I'm sure you understand that this is my granddaughter we're talking about here. I understand, but Mr. James, you just said you know that this is that you present. If you do understand that much, why are you insisting that they come with you today? I mean, the little girl just went through traumatic experience. At least. Give her two days. Okay, fine. 24 hours is all I can give. And I would definitely need your statement. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate that. Thank you. Good day, ma'am. Yes, good day, sir. Thanks, Dad. Don't get you 24 hours, no? Thank you, James. Sorry, right, my dear. He stayed. Wow. He wanted to keep an eye on you and Sarah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You stayed. I hope that wasn't a problem. I owe you an explanation. Come. Thank you very much, sir. Come in, please. Hello. What are you doing here? I thought I never wanted to see, I told you I never wanted to see you again. What are you doing here? I have been calling your phone for quite some time now, but you've not been picking And why would I do that? Eh? Babe, I came to say I'm sorry for everything. Please leave! Baby, you know it's never too late for us. You know that, right? See, I have an appointment right now. Can you just go? Please. I heard about what happened about uh, Cynthia's daughter. Please um, send my sincere apologies to her. I will come to the house and see her as soon as I'm done with work at the office.
If I please come in. I'm going out. Please, can you just hold the fort for me, please? And in case Eno comes back, just tell him I went to Cynthia's place. Okay. You know the address, you can give it to him. He should be the only person that knows where I'm going to. Okay. Yeah. No, no problem. I can assure you of my 100% cooperation. Yeah, thank you. No, no problem, no problem. Yeah. I brought this for you. This is your lunch. You left wow. him in the hurry very early this morning. That's my darling. Mm. I love mm. you. I love you so much, you know why? Uh, you don't have any other choice now. <laughs> um, the call. That was about my top staff. Which staff? Which of them? You probably won't know him, Adi. Adi? He kidnapped a little girl. Wait, what? He's currently in the psych ward by now. And why are you just telling me this now? Why am I telling you this? When did you start caring about my staff? Your staff, anything that has to that affect your reputation affect me. Your business, anything that affects it, affect us. Which is me. Uh, let me put this down for you. And I'll call you so, you know, don't be late for me. Just come back home. What did he want again this time? A statement from Zara and I. That's ridiculous. Zara is a minor. He did not seem to care. Luckily, my dad got us an extra 24 hours. And when it expires, we have to submit ourselves at the station for our statements. No, no, no. That can't be right. That's not right. We need to get a lawyer involved. Why are you smiling? Nothing. Let me help you with that. Thank you. You're welcome. What is that? You're sorry. James, you are sorry. You were gone for 10 years. 10 years. I'm sorry, but you know. Oh. oh my God. See? Baby? I'm so sorry. It was all my fault. Not all my fault, man. That man is just. A non compassmentis <laughs> That's a very big word. Nice. High five. Yeah. My darling, you must be starving by now. I'm oh yes, I know. I made your favorite meal. <laughs> Let me get you something to eat. This app is revolutionary because it will help increase the security and safeguarding of human rights and property. All we need right now is the approval of the police force and the Human Rights Association. Well, sincerely speaking, we are very happy with this current development, most especially since it helps in improving the efficiency of our duties. I spoke about needing access to information of the help users. How much information are we talking about here? Um, turn to page 22, under section A. Okay, uh, there's this question practically in my mind I would like to ask, especially Eno. With this kind of information of millions of citizens at your disposal, how do you ensure its safety 
and more or less how do you protect it from your company and that of external entities? The app user has 100% control of the information being shared. As you can see, our company has 100% efficiency and transparency. Basically, what we do is this, when an information has been discovered to be leaked, we apply a form of debugging and encrypting uh, processes that ensures that your information is protected and unaccessible by any other party. Any other questions? Not from me. I still need to pass this across to my superiors and make sure no human right to be violated, but I am confident you will get our approval this way. Music to my ears. Thank you very much for this. Thank you. What is human right? I'm telling you. At least I like this to me compared to the delegate Eva. That one, eh? That aside, how was your visit to Omono? Shooks, it didn't go well, though. It was bad timing. How so? Look, man. Omono's best friend's daughter was kidnapped. Shoo! By who? By his father. But um, she has been found now. Wow. That's crazy, man. That's, that's messed up. Yes, it is. So you can see why I said it was bad timing. Dude. There's never an imperfect timing to tell someone you love that you love them. The timing is always perfect. See, as plan A did not work, plan B is a go. So you believe we should move to plan B? See, what I'm just trying to tell you is that you should just sit back, relax, and let the expert take care of this. You understand? So you're telling me I need not worry, right? All you gotta worry about is getting laid afterwards because plan B will be hugely successful. So, <laughs> If you will excuse me, Mr. Thomas, I've got preparations to make. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sir, uh, you sent for me? Yes, I did. Do Ade and my wife know each other? I can't say for sure, sir. You can't say for sure? Um, um, I mean, they have met once or twice, but some majorly for business purposes. Who asked you that? You can take your leave. You can take your leave. All right, sir. How are you? I'm fine. I bought you something. Yes. Chocolate! <laughs> what do you say? Thank you, Auntie Oma. You're welcome, my okay. love. <laughs> okay, go stay with Grandma. I want to talk to Auntie Oma. Okay. <sighs> wow. Yeah. She's back to herself in record time. I know. But children, they deal with so much you may not know about. Come on, Z is a brilliant child. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> I hate that bastard for what he did to her. I want to strangle hey, him. Hey, hey, come here. She'll be okay. okay. Thank you. So, is Smith still around? Yes, he is. Aha! Why do you have that look on your face? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Please, oh, no. don't start that one. I don't have time, really. I understand. Ah, speaking of the devil. The devil being me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What's up, Omono? How are you, you doing? Yeah, man, I'm heading out now. I need to go to the bar. Someone oh. just requested me to play with the band. Thank I you. I really wish I could stay. It's cool. Thank you so much for staying. I oh, know, it's my pleasure. Zara will be fine, don't worry. She's tougher than all of us combined. <laughs> yeah. Uh, me? Mr. Ah, James. There you are. I have tried ordering for the Uber. This thing <laughs> is so complex for my brain. It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. How are you, Amanda? Good evening, 
sir. Good evening. All right. All done, Mr. James. Good to go. Hmm? Yes. yes. <laughs> Is that quick? See what I said? See Bye. You See you later. Bye. See you later. <laughs> Your dad is so funny. Yeah, he is. Yes. And he's still around? Yes, he's around. He's been hanging around with me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know what they're up to. Come on, is that obvious? It's about your mom. Yeah. You look a lot better, Mr. James. I do? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Smith, mm -hmm. so you think writing a poem will amend the relationship with my wife and daughter? Baby steps, Mr. James. You are sure this will work? Mr. James, women love the simplest and purest of romantic gestures, especially when it comes from a sincere heart. I really think it will work. <laughs> so have you spoken with Eno? Eh? He even came to my office this afternoon. And? I told him to leave. Ha! Oh, more no. What? Cynthia, I need him to feel some pain. I can't just forgive him that easily. I need him to work hard for it. Oh, more no. He's working hard. Just give him a chance. I will, but not now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, girl. By the way, he says he sends his regard. You and Z, and said that you'll come and see you guys later. Oh, okay. Just, Good afternoon, darling. How are you? Very fine now. <laughs> so, Mom, yes, darling. What is Dad still doing here? Don't tell me he's begging you to take him back. What do you expect? And what did you say to him? Nothing. Nothing. Why didn't you tell him point blank that is over? I don't know. Well, maybe I, st I think we can still work out our differences. Mom! Listen, I don't expect you to understand. You're still a child. <laughs> I am still a child. Let's <laughs> have some slack now. Oh, no. I don't want to see her get hurt again. I had to pick up the pieces the last time, and it took a toll on me and her. I'm not going through that again, no, no. But she's a woman. Huh? Does Cynthia know your plans of getting back together with them as a family? I don't think so, no. She doesn't. Ah, oh, you have to tell her. You have to tell her. So our advice, you let her know, ask her for forgiveness, else your plans of getting back together with them as a family will falter. I'll do whatever it takes. Whatever. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Um, is she in? No, she left for her friend's mom's place. Cynthia's mom? Yes, yes, Cynthia's mom. Okay, thank you very much. No, no free ride today. Mom? Yes, love? Why is Grandma sad? See what you've cost. Z, stay with Aunt Germana. I'll be back, okay? Mom. Yes. I came to apologize about what I said earlier. Back there. I can understand that that is your husband and the father of your child. I know there is still a part of you that loves him. And as much as I hate to admit, there's a part of me that loves him too. It's just I'm not ready to open my heart up to someone that might Walk out on us at any moment. But I want you to know that whatever decision you make, I will support you.
If I was asked about love, I would say it's a name for the things I can do for the people that I love. The time I would give to watch them smile, the regrets that I feel for never being there, the attention I would pay not to let a tear fall from their eyes ever again. You upset with me because of what I did. But please give me a chance. I mean, <laughs> but please, hear me out. Don't come home, honey. Who is your honey? What have I done this time? What is it? Oh, what have you done? This is what you have done. 